Okay, good afternoon. Let me know if you can hear me. Hi, Carol. Okay, so I see one comment. Um, let me go ahead and share this video real quick. So copy and I mean my keyboard. Okay, I'm going to refresh my screen. I still don't see the, I only see one comment. Maybe it's the heat, right? Oh, there y'all are. Good evening. Yes, you hear Elvis and Gizmo in the background. They are chirping up a storm. Um, we just got back from the lake house last night and Brooke is moving on Friday so it didn't make sense for her to take the birds with her for two nights and then bring them back so that the movers can move her. So, yeah, um, they're staying with me until Friday, which is really fun. They've been in here all day today with me. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. Today is Tuesday, July 5th. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but the weekend, after the weekend, I'm I'm really tired. Um, I think I said that last week and the week before and the week before. Maybe it's the remaining um, COVID that's making me so tired. I don't know. So I have some housekeeping notes for y'all tonight. Uh, before we get started, um, let's see. I shared my video. Uh, and about last, about last week when I went live... My video cut off uh, when I was drawing the final winner, and um, I didn't know what was going on. I thought thought I lost my internet. I came back. I was able to, to come back live again and finish what I was doing, but it was probably like three or four minutes later, and someone told me that what happened was I'm the one that did it. I was scrolling through the comments trying to choose the winner, and I I think I'm the one that cut myself off. So I'm going to try to use a different account and I'm going to use my laptop. So you guys are not really going to see me because last week I was using an iPad to draw the winner. This time I'm going to use my laptop and I've logged in on a different YouTube account so that I don't interrupt um, the video. Yeah, so like I told y'all last week, doing the prizes was new. Um, and I'll go ahead and cover the prizes for tonight. So we have four, four prizes that we're going to give away. The first two, sorry, my fan is blowing because it's hotter than a biscuit in here. Um, the first two is going to be whoever wins first is going to get to choose between the pool party, soft seafoam cards and envelopes, or the heart pearls. Okay. And then the second winner will get whatever they didn't choose. And then the third and fourth uh, winners will have their choice between the All Together Designer Series Paper Stack and the Mischievous Mice Stamp Set. Uh, whoever chooses, our third winner will get to choose between these two. And if they, end, if they already have these two and they don't want it, whoever the final winner is, I do have a consolation prize, which is the Simply Marvelous Paper. Um, Okay, so that's about the prizes. If your name is drawn, uh, I'll, all I ask is that you send your mailing address to my email so that I can ship it to you. And everyone did that last week, and all the gifts have been mailed. So that was fabulous. I didn't get to sew this weekend, so I don't have any more drawstring bags to give this week. But hopefully next week. Um, okay, so there's that housekeeping. Uh, the new host code started on June 30th. 
and it is a full pack of the red and white glimmer paper and three of these star treat bags. I haven't completely decorated it, but these are really nice treat bags. And you can decorate them for Christmas or um, Halloween or really any occasion. Okay, so there's that. And Chick Candy 144 is over on my blog. And you enter to win multiple ways. So this is the drawstring bag. And then the cheerful basket stamp set, the full basket dies, this roll of ribbon, which is the mini ruffled ribbon, and a chick stand. If you don't already know how to um, enter to win, let me know and I'll explain it when I'm stamping, okay? Yeah, we'll talk about that when we're stamping. That's That'll give us something to talk about when I'm coloring. So I'm going to tell y'all, tonight we're doing something, oh, let me get this in here, <laughs> it don't fit real well, um, we're doing something a little bit different because I was with my family at the lake house this weekend, there were seven of us, um, seven of us in my house and then of course Dave's parents uh, live down there now, so I, I, <laughs> I haven't been home. So what we're doing tonight is we're making two adorable cards featuring the North Pole Mischief Stamp Set. Now if you've got your holiday catalog and you looked real closely, you will recognize these two cards because they're on page, I believe it's 37. And I don't know if y'all ever do this, but casing a card that doesn't give you measurements is not the easiest thing in the world. So I, it took me a while, but I love this stamp set. I haven't had time to play with it yet. Well, of course not. The thing just went live, what, July 1st, right? <laughs> so I don't have an original idea, but I thought, you know what? It's not easy figuring out the measurements because we do have the supply list and you can find those on my website. Um, but the supply list does not include the measurements. So I'm not sure that I'm 100% accurate, but I think they turned out super cute. So we're going to start with this one. And I've got all the measurements and everything ready for you. So here's the measurements. Let me set this over here. Now we're going to go ahead and draw a winner really quickly. So the way that you um, enter to win the prizes, and like I said, these are the two prizes right now. I'm going to draw one name. You get to choose the one. You have to log into your YouTube account and you have to leave a comment right now in the chat box. So all you got to do is say hello, I want to win, or anything. Just say anything in the chat box. And I'm going to scroll through them on my laptop over here. And I'm, my finger's just going to land on one of them. And y'all know I'm not going to cheat. I'm just going to scroll. So start saying, hello, I want to win, whatever you want to say. And I'm just going to scroll until I can, uh, wait, I got to click on live chat. That way all messages are visible. And it's, you know, last time I looked away, it's really hard to look away, Gap. It's really hard to look away and draw a winner. Yeah, so <laughs> I tried to find a moderator for tonight to draw the winner, but I really, I, I couldn't. It was, it was impossible. So, yeah, I just got to close my eyes and, and I'm not closing my eyes, but I am closing my eyes or I'm looking up. Okay, so the winner is Laura. Oh, goodness gracious, the, uh, the the chat box went up way too quick. So the first winner is Laura F. Wait, let me write on this paper. So Laura, I got to scroll back really quick and, and find your name. So Laura F. My finger landed on her. So let me just go find her last name real quick. <laughs> There's y'all y'all should tell me, is there an easier way to do this? Am I making things harder on myself? Um Laura F. Oh goodness gracious. Come on. 
Somebody help me. It was a Laura. That's how I stopped the video. Oh, there it is. So it's F A N U C C H I. So Laura, you get to choose between the pool party soft sea foam envelopes or the heart pearls. Uh, whatever you don't choose, then our second winner will get that one. So let me know. And somebody repeat whatever she says so that I'll see it in the chat box because it moves pretty quickly. Okay, now back to our card. <laughs> Can I pop up or highlight? Well, I was trying to do that last week. And what happened was I stopped the video. So who knows? Um... If y'all could email me the way that it, uh, a better way, that would be fantastic. Yeah, just email me. Here's my email address. Yeah. Okay. These are all the pieces. I'm not going to read them out loud since here is the, um, the measurements. So I'm going to take this whisper not whisper white oh you can tell I've been on vacation right okay she wants the pearls I saw her comment yay okay so the pearls and this is l-a-u-r-a-f okay make sure you email me your address okay so this is our main uh cardstock that we're going to be stamping on and let me uncover the measurements. Thank y'all for helping me out. I appreciate it. So now I've got it. I'm using Memento ink to stamp the image. And I'm not taking it all the way to the bottom. I'm bringing it up just a smidge. Isn't it so funny? Oh, goodness. I cannot help but laugh. And we are using a lot of Stampin' Blend markers. Daffodil Delight, Crumb Cake, Mint Macaron, Pool Party, Flirty Flamingo, and Real Red. So uh, that's why I told y'all earlier that I could explain how to enter to win chick candy when I'm coloring because I'm using all these colors. I'm going to start with the light crumb cake and I'm just going to brush on some um, ink on those shaded areas and you can't see it but you kind of can in person okay and then I'm going to take well I'm going to take the light again this is still crumb cake And I'm going to just put some dark crumb cake dots on there, okay? The pool party light is for the water. Listen, this weekend we had, we had our niece and nephew at the lake and <laughs> we were, we were, Having so much fun, we're just laughing at really crazy, silly things. We were on the water, so that's what made what made me little little what made me think of the water. Now I'm going to use mint macaron. We definitely put Big Mabel to good use. We finally initiated her. I did not touch her. I just watched to make sure that everybody was safe. Daffodil Delight. We saw several of them on the lake too, so yeah, the lake was really busy. I'm going to use a Flirty Flamingo for the for her ears. <laughs> and then Real Red, and this is the light Real Red for the ribbon. Okay, I think I did pretty good, right? So a lot of markers, but not a lot of coloring. 
Now we're going to stamp the greeting. I am bird setting. Elvis and Gizmo are in the house. I actually rolled their cages in here. And let's see, we stamped the inside too. So let's get that piece and we'll stamp that. Okay, what did I stamp it with? Happy. Here we go. Okay, so now this is for the inside. This is for the front. We need to cut that out in just a minute. Let's go ahead and score our card base. So this is just scored at um, five and a half. Oh goodness. Stylus. Yeah, there'll be no showing my face today. Um, oh, I honestly. Not that y'all want to hear this, but I um, I was a smidge away from canceling today because I am just, I am, I don't, maybe it's an age thing or maybe it's just because the last month and a half there's just been just a lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm plum tuckered out. <laughs> I'm sounding like a broken record, right? Every week I say how tired I am. In fact, when David called today, he was like, I'm really tired. And then Brooke called and she said, I'm really tired. I'm like, oh my gosh, we all sound like a broken record. Okay, now this is going to go inside here. It is, this is definitely a case of a need a vacation to get over the vacation. When you have seven people in your house, it's not really a vacation though. I cooked um, sausage balls one morning. I cooked... Homemade biscuits and bacon another morning. We cooked ribs. Um, what else did we do? I can't remember. Oh, okay, so I'm going to stop rattling. I'm going to attach this little plate, blah, 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 this little piece here, right there. And then I'm going to trim off that piece right there. Okay, so let me get my silicone craft sheet. Oh, it's time for a joke. Here we go. How do you know a cat is agitated? He's having a hissy fit. Oh, my hair's in the camera. Sorry about that. Yes, my messy bun. <laughs> it actually is a prize winning messy bun because it's like boat hair and then messy bun combined together, which is why I'm not showing my face on the screen today. Y'all would pass out. <laughs> oh, David actually took a picture of my <laughs> my hair blowing on the boat several times. I'm like, dude, you just need to name my hair, I guess. Keep taking pictures of it. <laughs> okay, there's that. Now we need to emboss this with, let me make sure I've got it. Oh goodness, I thought I pulled all my supplies. Let's see. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I know it's right in front of my face. So, I just had it. Well, I said I did. It's the Wintry Mix Embossing Folder. Hmm. Well, <laughs> hey Gizmo. <laughs> I can't find it, so we're just gonna use one that's on my desk. Um. What is this, Quattro foil? Hopefully it's even current. Yeah, I just had the darn thing, but 
I also had the birds in here. And as soon as I'm done embossing this, I'm probably going to find it. Okay, so let me move this over and get the stamp and cut and emboss machine. They can hear me in there, little rascals. I was actually going to look and see if I have another uh, you know what we'll use this one it's a little more festive and this way I can show you what I did um, to emboss because this is three and three quarters by three and three quarters so you can't emboss the whole thing so what I did was I embossed the top like that Gizmo is singing up a storm. He really wants my attention. Oh, thank you, Kathy. You're right. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, and then we're going to run it through again. You would think as long as I've been on here that I would remember that, but I do not. I need to have a big flashing sign in here, don't I? <gasps> Goodness gracious, Angie. Hold on. Whew, I almost messed that up. You hear them singing in there? They are completely... Oh, Annette, that's so nice. Thank you. Now, while we've got the stamp and cut and emboss machine, we're going to cut out the Mary Mary. And this is with the beautiful, no, not beautiful, the stylish shapes dies. So I need a number one and a number two. We hear you, Gizmo. He's singing off key. <laughs> Brooke called. She's like, I miss my birds. I'm like, I'm sure you do. Now you see how I feel every time they leave. I'm going to, after my, okay, where's my other three plate? After my live video tonight, I'll have dinner, and then I'll go in there and hang out with them and play. I'll play Animal Crossing while they fly around the room and stretch their wings and exercise. Okay, so here's the greeting. Now, I don't want to lose the die. Let me close this up, and we are done with the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I could wheel them in here, but Gizmo is really loud right now. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is glue this piece on top of this piece. Now, this was the Santa Express Designer Series paper, and I die cut it out with the stitched rectangle dies. Um, this piece of paper here was the Sweetest Christmas Designer Series paper, and then this one here was the Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. So there's three different papers on this card. Yeah, whoa, right? So I'm gonna use a mini dimensional for this layer. Let me grab, this is the mini, this is the regular. He's just not gonna stop. We hear you, Gizmo. Y'all can hear him, right? <laughs> um, what does the $5 mean? It means she gave me a tip. Yeah. I'm still a little confused about how all that works, but yeah, that's what that means. Okay, now this gets on goes on top of here. So I just used liquid glue and I'm just centering it. 
it's not not a perfect measurement but you can make it perfect if you want so what we'll do is we'll line it up there and then I can cut this little piece right here off it's easier to do this with a guillotine is that how you pronounce it guillotine cutter a little bit more teeny tiny sliver there we go so our focal point is ready with the exception of we need to add our pearls and we need to add our twine. So I'm going to take the white twine that's in the basic essentials, basic essentials twine. <laughs> He's being very persistent, isn't he? So Brookie says that song is called the Totoro song. I have no clue what that means. It's either a movie or a video game or something. But that is the song that he is singing. Totoro. Don't ask me how to spell it or, <laughs> or where it's from. But he's definitely singing off key. <laughs> okay. Now, this is going to get centered on this piece, but it hangs off, see? So we're just going to put it piece of right in the middle. Now y'all see why I sometimes call him Motor Mouth. Let's see. Now the pearls. Oh look, I found it. <laughs> you know where it was? It, it, it was in my container where I have all my supplies. But because it's clear, it's kind of invisible. So that's where it was. Completely invisible. Oh well. What can I say? I knew it was right under my, under my nose. <laughs> Y'all can laugh with me. We still use the same set of um, embossing folders, just a different, just a different pattern. And I'm using two different embellishments. I'm using the, the basic pearls, which is in the annual catalog. Hmm. Sorry, I forgot to mute my phone. Um, I think that's telling me that my husband is home. I, we have a, an alarm that tells us when there's movement. Okay, so basic pearls for that and then we're going to use the fine sparkle adhesive backed gems uh, for elsewhere which I will show you in just a second so this is going to get added here and I'm just going to use liquid glue Yeah, I'm, I have to say that casing sometimes is not the easiest of things when you don't actually have the measurements, right? <laughs> and then our final step is these... Um, I already told you the name, so I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> A tongue twister. These are pretty, though. I didn't even know I was going to like them. And did we attach the inside already? We did. So card number one is done. And we're going to make the second card in just a minute. We're going to tell a couple more jokes. And we're also going to draw another winner for our uh, prizes. So cute, right? Okay, card number one is done. So we have a joke. Why do cats always get their way? They're very persuasive. <laughs> now, this is the second card we're making. And here's the supplies. And I'm going to um, draw a winner for, let's see. 
your choices. Let me put this over here. I got fumble fingers. Um, so the second winner gets to choose between, not that, the pool party and soft seed foam envelopes or the all together designer series paper pack, okay? So start leaving a comment if you wanna to enter to win and I'm going to, so in the chat box, make sure you clicked on live chat, just leave a comment. You can say, I wanna win, pick me, hello, anything. It can be one word, two words, I'm just gonna scroll. Uh, I'm not gonna go all the way back to the beginning because I did that on the first when the first drawing, so I'm going to scroll down more towards the bottom where y'all were commenting right now. Okay. I'm just going to give it just a couple more seconds because I know that the um, the entries are still coming in, so I'm just going to give it a couple seconds. If y'all are wondering why I'm hesitating. <laughs> Okay, I'm closing my eyes now and picking a winner. So the comments are scrolling. Okay, got my finger on. Oh, goodness. Um, Kathy Weston, I think that's your name. Let me look. Is it? I know it was Kathy. Let me write this down. Let me scroll back and look. I, I think it was a Kathy with a W. It was a Kathy with a W. But let me uh, confirm. <laughs> Yes, it is Kathy Weston. So Kathy, which one do you want? Do you want the envelope, the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes, or do you want the all together designer series paper? The winners tonight, make sure you email me your mailing address. And I've already sent last week. So uh, Kathy, when you make your choice, you might want to type it a couple of times so I can see it. And now we're going to make this second card. So on this card, I did choose a different stamp set for the greeting on the inside. So on the front, it says, you've been good this year, mostly. Um, and then on the inside, it just says, happy holidays. I love the font of this. And that is in the brightest glow stamp set. So we just added one additional stamp set tonight. So here's the supplies. Oh, Gizmo, stop singing. This is the layer that we're going to stamp on. He got quiet. It looks like it don't fit, but it does. Okay, y'all, I have not seen Kathy choose her gift yet, so y'all can... Um, She wants the cards and envelopes. Thank you, Melissa. Yay, I didn't mess up. We are going to be using our blending brush in just a minute. I know you can't see it, but there is a little bit of pool party back there. Um, so let me put Kathy's name on... So we still have two more gifts to give. Now we're gonna uh, color our image. So I'm using um, Smoky Slate, uh, Light Mossy Meadow, Daffodil Delight, Real Red, and um, Crumb Cake. I think that's all of them, right? Yeah. I'm going to take the dark out, and I'm going to take the dark out, and I'm going to take the dark out. So we're just using the light, except for, hmm, I don't know which one I used on the real red. So we'll give that a test real quick and see. So if you need a drink of water or something, this is the perfect time to go get it because I'm going to be coloring this whole image. And let's see, which color 
did I use? I think I used the light real red. I did. So I have a question for y'all because as I'm as I was making these cards today, I'm like, okay, goodness gracious, when I type, so let's talk about my newsletter projects because I include the um, instructions for those because it's my newsletter and there's no video. So I type I type up the instructions. And then I just say, you know, color your image with Stampin' Blend markers. And then it occurred to me today, I'm like, well, goodness, should I ask them? Do you want me to specify whether I use the light and dark? Or do you prefer, or are you okay with me just saying color with your Stampin' Blend markers? Um, yeah, so you can use the chat box and you can tell me. If you're a newsletter subscriber, um, yeah, I try to send at least two exclusive tutorials a month. Sometimes you get three or four. I tried at least in two. It depends on how crazy busy the month is. So, um, and sometimes it's just one, but hey, it's free, right? The other thing too is that, that my resource page is password protected and I do change it often because people subscribe and then unsubscribe and I don't send any more than four emails a month uh, from my newsletter. That's the maximum. Like, I'm not one of those heavy emailer people. I, in fact, I don't even like that. Um, so, what's my point? Oh, I wanted to remind y'all that in front of the password that you have to I always say copy and paste it, there is a space there. And sometimes if you don't remove that space, the password doesn't work because it has a space in front of it. So, if you emailed me, I always reply back and say, just just remove the space and then try again, and that will work. So yeah, if you tried to open the um, exclusive tutorial last week and you couldn't, remove the space at the very beginning and you'll be successful. But I will be changing the password again probably the next time I send a newsletter. Yeah. I'm almost done with the ribbon. <laughs> I have to concentrate. Whew, I almost colored him. That would not have been good. Okay, we're done with the ribbon. Now we're going to color the puppy, so we, yeah, he's so funny looking. Now I think, yeah, so in the instructions or in the supply list, they mentioned using a different uh, base, a different uh, white cardstock. I think it was like velvet or something, and they also uh, we're using watercolor pencils. I didn't want to use watercolor pencils today. Um, I wanted to use my blends. So my card looks a little bit different from in the catalog because I'm using blends instead. And now I'm going to take the color lifter and just lift some of this color out. Okay. His color is light Daffodil. Oh, I forgot the real red on his little bell there. We're going to color the um, present or the box with light mossy meadow because we don't have garden green. And if we have garden green, <laughs> then somebody tell me that I've messed up. I, I don't think we do, but we might. We'll go back to me saying, remember earlier when I, when I said I was, I'm lethargically tired. Are y'all ready for another joke? I also had to un like unload the suitcases and everything. How, how 
Oh, this is really cute. How do two cats end a fight? They hiss and make up. Oh, goodness gracious, my head was in the camera. Again, so sorry. Grr. Uh, yeah, isn't that funny? <sighs> my messy bun is in the camera. I hope y'all don't unsubscribe because I'm a hot mess tonight. I shouldn't have said that because now I'm giving people ideas. I hope y'all do subscribe because I'm a hot mess tonight. How about that? Yeah. Please subscribe because I was a hot mess. It could be worse, right? My electricity went off three times today. Changing the subject. Now we're going to color with light crumb cake. So after I did this, I was thinking, I think maybe I would have liked to have uh, stamped to the north to North Pole and popped it up with a dimensional and left it white. So that's an option for you. I'm gonna see how I like it leaving it leaving it um, white. I think I might like it better. They hiss and make up. That's my favorite one so far. Wait, is my head in the camera again? Goodness gracious. We're going to leave it white and we'll see how we like it when we're done. So now I'm going to stamp. Um, You've been good this year mostly. Uh oh, there goes Gizmo. We hear you. Oh, it's a little low, but that's okay. We'll call it done. And then the inside will stamp Happy Holidays. I could try to stamp it again on the back side. Let's see. Oh, much better. See, two-sided paper. Don't it sound like Gizmo's laughing? <laughs> I think he is, actually. Now, we have more stamping to do. I know you can't see it, probably, but in the background here, there's these little paw prints. So we have to stamp off because it's going to be too bright. So I'm taking Garden Green ink. Okay, so I'm going to do this at a diagonal. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the paw. We call that the rapid fire gizmo. <laughs> He's making me forget what I'm doing. Most of this is covered up anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. so funny. Poor Elvis. He's probably don't know what to think of it. Okay, so now that's how it's going to be on our card. We're going to score the base of this at four inches. So this card measures four by four and the cardstock measures eight by four. So we're going to score it. This is actually one of my most favorite. It is my most favorite size card to give because I've told y'all this many times that I don't have the gift of gab, so I usually write very little in a card. Um, so I like when it's smaller. 
Okay, let's see. I'm going to do it this way. And I'm just going to um, add it to the card with my liquid glue. Yeah. Ruh row. I could have used a background image, but all of this is from one stamp set with the exception of the greeting on the inside. So, and you could stamp a little. I hear Bella. Hello, Roo Roo. Now we have one more thing to do to this before we add it, and that's we're going to use the uh, blending brush and uh, blend some pool party on top, very faintly. Deborah, I am not having um, bingo in the month of July either. I'm shooting for August. Yeah. Okay, so pool party. And then I'm going to get some of that off of there, and I'm going to start here and then blend in. Now, this is a little bit darker than my sample. In fact, it's way dark. But that's okay, because I'm talking. <laughs> I messed up, but it's okay, right? I have the perfect one here. Now, we're going to put dimensionals on the back, and we're going to add it... Um, to the front crooked on purpose I wish I could remove that but I can't oh well it'll be fine what do y'all think about the sign do you agree that I should leave the um, uh, the North Pole leave it white I think so and then this is going to get popped up with um, a mini dimensional at the bottom so I've got a, a couple more drawings to do and I also have a couple more jokes so for those of you that want to stick around I have two more drawings and I think three more jokes okay let's open them up cute right I didn't add any embellishments to this because the um, the one uh, in the catalog didn't didn't have embellishments either. So yeah, I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna draw a winner. The next prize. So we've got two more to give. The All Together Designer Series paper. Of course, both of these items are retired, but I'm getting rid of stuff, and it feels good. So All Together. Mischievous Mice, if you want to win, start leaving a comment now in the chat, chat box. You can say whatever. You can say, hello, I want to win um, anything. So, yeah, just start leaving a comment. Or it, that is leave a comment. Yeah, leave a chat in the chat box. Leave a comment in the chat box, right? Um, what would it do if I used the color lifter? That is a very good question. They're different inks. So I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to try it on my card because I can still give this card to someone. But what I'll do is I'll do a test uh, in just a minute after I draw a winner. Okay, so there's enough, enough comments now. So I'm going to scroll up because I'm going to choose from the bottom where people, oh goodness gracious, I lost my, I lost the, I lost the video. So give me a second. Just keep leaving a comment to enter to win. I got to click on live chat again. Okay. Now I'm going to look away. This is not easy. I, I will figure out a way to do it next time. <laughs> this is not easy. Okay, so the winner is, I'm fixing to put my finger on there. Okay, oh gosh, it's moving so fast. So Angela Schmidt, 
So the name was Angela. I think that's how you spell your name. Which which um which gift do you want? Do you want the stamp set or the paper? I will draw one more winner um, in just a few minutes while I'm waiting on Angela's choice. Was that her name? Yeah. Uh, Angela, which one do you want? Do you want the stamp set or the paper? And then I'm going to draw the other winner. What is a cat's favorite color? Purple. Okay, you will take the stamp set. Okay, so prizes. She wants the stamp set. Don't forget to email me your mailing address, okay? I did spell your name wrong on my thing, but there we go. Okay, so the final winner is going to get this pack of paper. And if they don't want it, since we have a consolation prize, they can choose this one. So same thing. Keep leaving a comment. And I'm going to draw another winner. Um, yeah, so keep, keep, um, keep leaving a comment. And I'm going to tell two more jokes and then draw the final, final winner. Why was the cat afraid of the tree? Because of its bark. Okay, I'm fixing the draw. I'm going to pick up my laptop and scroll and scroll and scroll. I'm scrolling up and down because I'm going to draw the winner from the bottom. So if you left a comment like an hour ago, that one don't count, okay? I'm still here. The comments are really scrolling in, so I'm just kind of giving everybody a second to get get their comment in. <laughs> okay, it's not slowing down any. That's hilarious. Okay, my finger just touched it. Um, Kathy Mahan, that was not easy to pick. Um, Kathy Mahan, the two Kathys tonight, and hopefully I pronounced that right. I don't know. Um, so Kathy, your choice is which, which one do you want? Do you want the all together or the, um, simply marvelous? Okay, what did the cat say when, wait, did I already tell this one? What did the cat say when it was confused? I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed. So while we're waiting for um, Kathy's choice, what's her last name again? Kathy Mahan? I hope I'm saying that right. The winners, make sure you email me. I ship these out pretty much the next day. Uh, I know, that was luck, right? So here's all the jokes that we told tonight. Uh, okay, so Kathy wants the, um, the marvelous paper. Where's my list? Okay, so we're done with all the presentation tonight. The prizes have all been given. Uh, make sure you guys email me your mailing address, even if I have it, because it's just so much easier to copy and paste it. Uh, now, do you guys have any questions for me before I sign off? Because I'm not scheduled to go live again until next week, and I don't think that I'm going to be able to fit another one in because Brookie is moving on Friday, and I, of course, will be helping her. I'm going to put the cameras back in the, or put the cards back in the camera view so y'all can see them. We'll remove the one that I messed up. Um, so any questions for me?
Now, I can't um, answer your questions in the chat box when the live video is over because I don't have I don't have that ability. So if you ask me a question and I've missed it in the chat block bleh, box, please email me at this address and I would be happy to answer you. Yeah, sometimes I see a question later and I'm like, oh, girl. Uh, so Debbie, last week, and I don't know if Debbie's on here, but Debbie, last week you asked me about sewing machines and I'm so sorry I never got around to answering you. It's because I lost my connection. So do me a favor, send me an email and we will chat. And maybe why don't you just give me a call and we will talk about it. Yeah, so... Any questions now for me before I sign off? Is my daughter going to live with far from me? Nope, 20 minutes away. Yay. Yeah, she'll be 20 minutes. So uh, Brooke will be 20. So we, Dave and I will be like right here. And Brooke will be 20 minutes this direction. And Chase will be 20 minutes that direction. <laughs> this is, that's how I feel. Yeah. Brookie, Chase, us, and then the lake house down here, <laughs> way south. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning now. So those of you that need to scoot out, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna scroll all the way back and see if I can find any of the questions that I missed. I probably won't be able to get to all of them, um, but like I said, uh, email me and I'll. I'll be happy to answer you. I'm going to really try next week to have a moderator to help me draw the winners. Yeah, that's my goal for next week. I'm still here and I'm still scrolling. <laughs> so I asked for comments to enter to win and then it kind of covers up the questions. So I think what I'll do is just say, I didn't answer anybody's questions tonight, but just email me and I will answer it. Uh, Nora says, how's the best way to get the collection of blenders? There's really only one way and that's to order each set individually. Uh, back, in, back when we first got them, um, we had the ability to order the whole set, but we don't have that anymore. So if you go to page, let, let me pull it up. I'll show you the easiest way to get those numbers is in the catalog. Uh, down here, it says Stampin' Blend, Stampin' Blends Combo Pack. So all of these numbers are all of these colors. And then the same thing for here. Uh, all of these numbers are up here. Same here. So like tonight when I said there was no Stampin' Blend that was Garden Green, you can see, so here's Garden Green, go all the way to the bottom, and you can see there's a slash there, which means there is no um, Garden Green Stampin' Blend marker. Yeah, so, so that's all of these, and then these, and then the natural tones are actually on a different page. So I don't know if you guys knew that, but then on page 128 is the natural tones blends. So those were the ones that came out uh, back with the all together paper and the stamp set and everything. So that was a great question. Nora, thank you. It is nice having them close, absolutely. And where Brooke uh, was living in Topeka, they seemed like they always got really strong storms, like, you know, like the tornado sirens went off a lot more often so now she can come here uh, Callie asked what stamp set is the happy holidays from so that's the one on the inside of this card and it's from brightest glow this is a really nice set to have for the inside of your cards and for the outside I love all is merry and bright the Merry Christmas is beautiful seasons greetings happy holidays tis the season yeah I really love this one and I could see stamping this one on the inside and this one on the inside. Yeah. So the uh, pictures and the PDF will be available tomorrow on my blog. Just give me probably the whole day to get them done. <laughs> my goal is by 4 p.m. I have to take the pictures and everything too. 
Uh, do I sell retired stamp sets? I do occasionally, and I am working on that. So I can't set a date or give any information until I get Brookie moved in. So there will be more, more news about my retired stats later this month. Yeah. Good question, Kathy. Um, let's see. Any other questions? I don't think I see any more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. You guys have a great night again. Thank you so much for being here. And um, I'll see you next Tuesday. And I forgot how to turn this video off. <laughs> Let's see. Here it is. Bye, guys.